Retro mascot character sweatshirts killed it during Q4 last year for Christmas. So my hunch is they're probably gonna become some bestsellers again this year. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, I am talking about designs like this that have these little characters on them that give your design a retro feel. So this one right here has already been making monthly sales with their Halloween version of this shirt. And here's a Christmas version that's already selling for this season. And I found this PNG here, and if you've been on Etsy before, you've probably seen many, many different variations of this design on t-shirts, on sweatshirts, on digital downloads, they're everywhere. So today let's go over how I would create my own version that is different enough so I can separate myself from the competition. So today we're gonna be doing this in Kittle. If you don't have Kittle yet, you can check the links before for a free pro trial. But I love using Kittle because of some amazing templates they have and they've actually created a bunch for a retro feel. So in Kittle, we have the option Option here under trending searches we can just click on the hashtag retro or maybe we can even type in retro maybe retro mascot and let's see what comes up for us and then I'm gonna keep scrolling through them until I find one that I like that I think I want to edit myself there is a whole bunch of them out there but one that caught my eye was this coffee one right here so I'm gonna just click into that and we're gonna start editing this template so first I'm gonna start deleting some of the parts that I don't want in my design I don't really feel like having this big piece of text down here. Maybe not this right here. And then I also want to create a brand new slogan to use with this design. And I'm going to use the Kittle AI quote generator. So under the Kittle homepage, what you can do is go to AI tools, scroll down to the bottom to AI quote generator, and we're going to generate some quotes. What you do here is you pick your niche or you can type your own one at the bottom here. And then we're going to hit continue. Then we can pick what type of mood we're feeling. I probably want funny for this one, or maybe even happy. Let's go with happy actually. And then you can pick how long you want it to be. And I'm just going to do a short one and I'm going to go with two to four words. So now we have a list of nine different ideas that we can use in our design. And then you can just keep reloading the page until you find ones that you like. And one that it gave me that I really liked was Christmas cookie season. So let's go in and change the text. We can just double click season. And then just to make sure that sure this fits, I'm just gonna increase the size here. And then I might wanna just move this over here, maybe make it bigger with this design. And now to start adding in our characters. So since this one's about Christmas cookies, I'm gonna see if Kittle has any Christmas cookies that I can start working with. So I've just deleted what's in there and now I'm gonna go into elements and then I'm gonna start looking through the elements and let's see if they have any Christmas cookies. And then we can start scrolling down here. I might think of cookies. I might look up gingerbread until I find maybe one that might fit the retro feel that I'm going for. So here I found two similar kind of looking cookies and I actually just changed some of the colors to get rid of some of the features I didn't like. This one had black eyes before, but I just changed it to match the back because we're gonna create our own retro looking eyes for this design. I'm just gonna move these guys out of the way. We're gonna come back and reposition those later but let's start working on our cookies because they need a face and they need some hands. And this is why I love Kittle. Before it was really hard to find retro assets, but now using Kittle, if you just look up mascot, you can see they have tons of different characters. One, a bunch of them are already pre-built. So if they fit into the theme that you wanted to do, you can just grab one of the ones that are already made. But if you keep scrolling down as well, they also have all of these separate assets. So right here, we have a bunch of retro noses. We have faces, we have eyes, we have the arms, the legs, the smiles, everything that we need to create our own. So when looking through these, I'm gonna look for maybe some that I like the full face that makes it a little bit easier some of them you can also maybe just grab the eyes and a nice smile i think one of my cookies still needs arms and legs maybe not the gingerbread man but maybe the other one so i'm going to grab some legs and let's grab some fun hands for him and now we have this big mess of a file so let's start moving things around and now let's start positioning these actually on our men so i'm just going to bring this a little bit smaller i kind of want him looking at the other cookie as well so i'm going to actually 
flip this by right clicking and I'm gonna hit flip horizontal. So he's just looking the other way and there we go. One thing you might notice about our star guy here is the way I position things, everything is on top of the star, which makes the legs look not realistic. So we do need to play with the positioning. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna select all of them by holding down shift and grabbing each of the elements and then in the bottom corner over here where it says layers, you're gonna see there's now four highlighted layers, which are all of the different elements that I've selected here. And I'm actually gonna just drag them down. And now I've brought them underneath all the other layers, positioning them behind the layers that are on top. So now it looks like this. But one thing that's kind of bothering me is the weight of the border of the mascot is black versus our cookies don't really match. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on them and I'm actually gonna add a border to them. I'm gonna change this to black and I'm just gonna change it until it matches the weighting of the hands and the feet. And that looks good for me, it's 10.8. And I'm gonna do that for this cookie as well. Change it to 10.8 and then change it to black. And now our cookies look like this and I'm just gonna play around with it until I get it the way I really like it. All right, I changed up the face on one guy a little bit. I wasn't a big fan of the last one. So I just kept playing with the different combinations of the eyes and the nose and the mouth. And I'm liking this one here. And I also felt like he needed a little bow tie. So in elements, I looked up bow tie and then same thing, I gave him a little bit of a outline by just changing and playing with the border weight here. And now let's move around our little sparkles and you can just grab them and you can resize them right now. Because this was a template, they're actually grouped and we're not a fan of the grouping. So I'm just gonna hit right click and I'm gonna hit ungroup. So now these are all acting as individual elements that I can move around and delete and copy. So you can just start placing these however you would like. And then another thing you noticed that was really popular last year and this year still is this checkerboard looking thing in the back of all these retro designs. So I'm just going to search up checker and then let's find a straight one. And I'm actually going to put this behind these guys. So I'm going to add two of them and we're going to do what we did earlier and select both of these and under layers, we're gonna do the same thing and we're going to drag it downwards. And now we have the checkers showing up behind our guys and the stars are still well placed. You might need to move them around a bit, but here we go. Another thing I like to do on Kittle is add some texture to the designs because another thing that's really popular is this grungy look to things. So Kittle actually has built-in textures just under here and we can go and play with these. And I actually like changing this at the side here from opacity down, I'm gonna be changing it to alpha mask. And this gives it more of a grungy feel. And then I'm gonna make sure I clip content. So that makes sure the design or the texture only applies to your design and not the background. And then you can start playing with the different textures, seeing if there's any more you like, seeing if you like it or not. If you don't like it, then you can just delete the texture. And if it's a little bit too much for you, you can play with the opacity slider here, which would make it a little bit more transparent. Therefore, it's not as obvious than the texture if you had it to 100% opacity like it is right now. So and now we have our final design and I'm going to export this and I wanna see how it looks on a sweatshirt. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna hit export. We're going to hit download a design. We're gonna make sure we're removing the background. I'm also going to just change change the DPI so this comes as a little bit bigger of a file size. And then I'm going to save it as a PNG file. And here it is mocked up in a sweatshirt. I always like to place my design on a sweatshirt just in the images, just to make sure I actually like how it looks on an apparel product or whatever you sell. Sometimes a design might look good in the designer, but then against a sweatshirt might not look that good. But Taking a look at this, I am extremely happy with the way that this turned out. So if you've been one of those people in my comments asking how to make your own retro characters, I hope this helped and I'm wishing you the best in this Q4 season.